last time on Doki Doki Tropical Rain. This is where I come specifically to read. The atmosphere is perfect, night or day. And I know I've already said it, but this place is very special to me. Aww, that's cute! Um... Question, why is MC so short? He looks like a, um, he looks like a shorty here. She put her hands in, she put her head in her hands. Why? Why is she cursed with this one-sided love? We're thinking about him again, aren't you? She turned to the door where her father stood. No, I... He raised an eyebrow. Uh, yes, I am. I'm sorry, Papa, but I... Up, up, up. So, Christmas is tomorrow. Indeed it is. Want to do something with me? Or do you want to spend it with your family? You, please. Alright, sounds like a plan. Well, so far so good for Christmas. Uh, things are turning out to be okay. <laughs>
I stood back up and grabbed a towel from my closet. Also, funny thing though, uh, you guys don't mind if I share a short story, but okay, so funnily enough, I did a similar thing what MC did here. So I was kind of sleepy and of course, um, I, for I was going to charge my phone, but in reality, I didn't. As soon as I wake up, it didn't charge. So I f my dumb ass wizardry just forgot to like <laughs> charge the phone before I go to sleep. Oh man, but I know you guys can relate to that. But still, <laughs> you guys can relate to that really, and man, that really, really sucks. I stepped out of the bathroom, lightly touching my recently combed hair. That'll look nice for the lady. <laughs> of course, even though I'm wearing a hat right now, but still. I grabbed my present from under my bed, opened up my bedroom door, and walked out into the hallway. Yuri, you down there? Yes. I took a step onto the stairs. But don't come down here. I stopped. I'm still getting ready. Go play a video game or something. Alright, babe. I guess I can do that. I walked back into my bedroom, sighing. I guess I can get her gift ready too. He'll like this. He has to. Yuri watched as the egg as it began to solidify in the pan. She grabbed some cheese and sprinkled it on top. Oh, I really hope he does. He's eaten this sort of thing in the past. He had it in his fridge. He has to like it. Uh... But maybe his parents bought it? His parents seemingly haven't been at home for weeks though. Maybe it's expired. Oh no, that's probably it. His parents brought the eggs a long time ago and he just kept them around. My club, I'm about to poison him. Her fist clenched and she picked up the pan off the stove. He opened up the trash can but stopped right before she threw the food in. Uh, she sighed. She set it back on the stove. Relax. He'll like it. Of course he will. She smiled. Uh, but what if he doesn't like the gift? He didn't go shopping for it but surely he'll like the gift anyway, right? Surely. Surely. Yuri, I hate it. You did a terrible job. What? But I... But nothing. You... You're the worst girlfriend of all time. We're done, freak show. She felt herself grow slightly nauseous. I didn't say that. No, that wouldn't... That's so unrealistic. But it... She flapped her hands around nervously. Ah... <sighs> That wouldn't happen. It wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't. She flexed her hands and took a deep breath. She turned off the stove. How much time do I have? She told Finn that she would call him down when she was ready. I'm okay. I'm okay. She set her arm down on the counter to balance herself. She felt dizzy. She reached into her back pocket and inhaled deeply. She pulled out her handkerchief. She fumbled with the soft material until she held the stained blade. It was cold, like heck on a bad day. She pulled back her sleeve and stared at an arm riddled with scars. What's one more? It'll be practically unnoticeable. She inhaled, held her breath, and swiped the blade along a clean section of skin. Uh... Her dizziness came back in full force and felt herself clutching onto the countertop. She exhaled quickly, clearing her lungs of the heavy air. And there it is. That rush. Her head felt lighter and her pupils dilated. Uh, but after a few moments it went away. Her breathing slowed as she gradually came back down to earth. She closed her eyes and inhaled deeply. She exhaled and opened her eyes. She put the handkerchief back in her pocket and went to grab her purse. Shoot, it's upstairs. She left it up there when she went to wake up Finn. Shoot! I didn't want to risk going up there with a bleeding arm. 
Ah, surely he has some medical supplies in the kitchen? She looked around, but upon not seeing anything at first glance, decided to open a few cabinets. After finding some dishes in a box of cereal in an odd place, she opened up the cabinet underneath the sink. Ah, there we go. She pulled out a white and red box from the back part of the cabinet. It clearly hadn't been used in a while, but she doubted anti but she doubted antiseptic expired. She removed her necessary supplies and began to clean up her wound. Everything went well, but unfortunately had to use the last of the bandages. I'll have to replace those in secret. I don't want him to get worried. She put the back she put the box back in the cabinet and looked around. Nothing had happened. Nothing had changed. Everything was okay. Everything was calm. Yuri was calm. She grabbed a cup and filled it with tap water. Uh Today is going to be hard, Yuri. It's going to be stressful. You're going to get nervous, flustered. You cannot do that again. That has to be it for today. Uh it's not normal. You're not normal. But just try to act normal. For his sake. Now, back to breakfast. She turned the stove back on. I'm glad I remembered to turn this thing off. Whew. Dang it. I clutched the controller tightly. This level is ridiculous. Finn, ple please come down here. Oh, I guess it's time. I set the controller down, turned off my game console, and shut down the television. I then reached under my bed and pulled out a rather large box. Perfect. Coming. I opened up my bedroom door, backside first as I struggled and struggled as I carried the heavy present. <laughs> a big one, I wonder what that would be. I walked into the kitchen after setting my present on the counter. You're resetting the table. Wait, did you make breakfast? She nodded happily and cleared her throat. Yeah, I did. She walked up to me and gave me a hug. Merry Christmas, she whispered. Again, I chuckled. Merry Christmas. She pulled away from me and presented her meal. This is what's called an omelette du fromage. Uh, oh, uh, what now? It means she's omelette. Oh, I love omelettes. Oh, my bad. That's quite all right. I didn't expect you to know much about French. Oh, apparently she um she learned French as well. <laughs> That's nice. Well, now I feel stupid. Anyway, how about we eat this and then open the gifts? Sounds good. I sat down at the table and Yuri served two omelets, one on her plate and one on mine. She sat down across me and began to eat her meal. She seemed to be enjoying it. It needed something else though. I stood up and went to my fridge and where I grabbed a where I grabbed out a familiar red bottle. I don't care what you say. <laughs> Eating an omelet with ketchup. Well, that's been a controversial take aside from the milk and cereal or cereal and milk kind of thing. For me personally, even though I ate omelets, scrambled eggs, and sunny side up eggs, I don't eat I don't eat eggs with ketchup. But to you guys who who eats that way, I respect that really. If it really tastes good, then I respect that too. <laughs> Whatever works, um, I really respect that. So I have no complaints on that because it's your opinion and I'm not you. Ketchup belongs on eggs. <laughs> I opened up the bottle and put a rather large amount all over the thing. Did you just put ketchup on your omelet? Yeah, why? Well, that's what I'm asking you. Why did you put ketchup on it? I have no issue with it, it just confuses me. Let's just say it's only a matter of preference there, Yuri. And of course to you, fellow knights. So please, enlighten me. I chuckled and cut off a piece of my food. 
you act if this is some thesis or something. <laughs> or a debate. <laughs> I just like catch up on my eggs. Yeah, yeah, like I said, it's just a matter of preference, man. I saw my mother do it when I was young and just gave it a shot, you know? Haven't looked back since. I took a bite off the food. Dang. That's pretty good. I'm not sure what I expected, but thank you for humoring me. I hope you continue to enjoy catch up with your eggs, sweetheart. I smiled. I'm mostly su I'm mostly just surprised you haven't done it. Why is that? I figured it was a well-known thing. Yeah, that and also the cereal and milk thing. Would you like to try it? Well, I don't know. I never eaten my eggs with ketchup before. No offense, but the concept is rather strange. <laughs> I promise it's really good. I wouldn't lie about ketchup. You seem to be thinking it over. I know it's a little com out, a little out of your comfort zone, but all I ask is that you take one bite. I held up a piece of my omelet, ketchup and all. She twiddled her thumbs. Oh, what the hey? It's Christmas. She ate the bite right off my fork. After a few seconds of chewing, she suddenly realized what she had done. She choked. Jeez. She coughed and I momentarily panicked. Hey, hey, are you okay? Yes. She wiped her mouth with a, with a napkin. Sorry, I didn't mean to eat your... You didn't mean to eat it directly off the fork, did you? Well, I would have known, Yuri. You always seemed like the romantic type. Hey, uh, what? Poor girl couldn't take all of this. Aww. <laughs> I smiled and grabbed her hand. Relax, Yuri. It's Christmas. I caught off another section of my omelette and held it up to her. Live a little. Be the romantic I know you can be. Uh, I don't know if uh, that's... Please. I tilted my head like a puppy. Uh, fine. She hesitantly put my fork in her mouth. She was clearly flustered, but she went through it. Thanks. Softly, she smiled and then nodded. Hmm. After breakfast, we continued to sit at the table. It was nearing time to open presents. Oh boy, it's present opening time. Enjoyment and happiness was impending. Maybe even love. Okay, would you like to go first? Or me? I guess I can go first. I stood, walked over to the counter, and grabbed my wrapped gift. Not very heavy or big, but I know she'll like it. I sat on the table and turned back to Yuri. She had her own present, nearly the same size as mine. I handed it off to her and she began to open it. I wonder what it could be. She tore off the wrapping paper and turned the box around to read the labels. She gasped. A knitting set? That's exactly what I wanted. How did you know? I shrugged. I saw your knitting needles. Figured you could use a new set. Well, I did. So thank you. How much did this cost? It couldn't have been cheap. Uh, well... Let's just say I paid it off using diamonds, and there you go! That will be... 10,032 yen? I gulped. Um, yeah, let's just say I paid those off using, using diamonds, and possibly emeralds, or gold, or iron, whatever. <sighs> That's not important. Do you like it? She nodded. I... Love it. She put down the set and gave me a kiss on the cheek. Uh, holy crap. Anyway, would you like to open mine? I nodded, still holding the spot where she kissed me. She handed it off, and after I grabbed it, I took my hand away from my face. I tore off the wrapping, finding what seems to be just a plain cardboard box. More square than cube, though. 
I took the top off and stared lovingly at a book. I took it out and read the title. Mural of Markov. Oh! So we got Portrait of Markov and now Mural of Markov. Is this like a sequel? <laughs> there better be like a, um, let's just say a literature universe or literary universe for the Markov series. Well, I can tell what it is. That name is a little on the nose. It's the sequel to Portrait. Yo, let's go. I figured we could read it together like we did before. If you want to, of course. I would happy to. Thank you, Yuri. She nodded and grabbed another box from her lap. Two? Uh-oh. Yeah. Don't feel bad for not getting me two things, though. This is my own elective decision. Well, alright then. I grabbed the box, took off the wrapping, and removed the top of the box inside. Same wrapping. Inside the box was... A knit... something. I grabbed it out and curiously examined it. Oh, it's a sweater. A gray sweater. I... wait. Wait a minute. She's been knitting something gray these past few days, hasn't she? Yuri? Oh yeah, that one thing that she was knitting from the previous episode. Yes. Did you make this? He turned bashful. Uh... Sorta. It's something I've been working on for a while, but I thought you might like it, so I basically just repurposed it. As she rambled on, I stared at the gift. So what if it didn't start out as a gift for me? It still ended up being for me. Of course, and I really appreciate it. And it's still from Yuri. Something she... Ugh. She put her blood, sweat, and tears into this. I just bought her some knitting gear. Uh, I'll definitely wear this. I held it up to my face. It's so comfy. I inhaled. Coconut. The smell of my girlfriend. <laughs> Coconut scented perfume, I'd say. Or oil, I don't know. Um, look at the collar. I turned it around some and looked closely at the collar. And there it was. It was the same collar as the sweater itself gray but it stuck out why heart oh that's sweet uh oh I smiled at her thank you Yuri genuinely I think this is the best Christmas I've had in years I put on the sweater oh well um you're welcome I share the same sentiment me and Yuri looked into each other's eyes. Slowly, we leaned closer over the table, pushing breakfast out of the way. It was the last thing on our minds. We got closer. Uh, ring. Oh, club, dang it. Uh, pract Yuri practically collapsed in on herself, and I stood up to get the stupid landline. I grabbed the phone off the wall. Uh, hello, T uh, TDK res residence. I'll, I'll admit I was a little grumpy. Hey, wait. What's up, boy? Oh, hey, Dad. Oh, Dad? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. So, uh, how are you doing, bud? Oh, well, pretty good, actually. I've been having a pretty good today. Well, I tried calling your phone, but I went to voicemail. So I'm guessing you've been distracted. You have a girl over or something? Uh, wait. You do, don't you? I nodded before I realized that he couldn't see me. <laughs> yep, he couldn't see me because I'm fucking John Cena. Yeah, I do. Who is it? Is that the girl you were confused about a while ago? Purple or chocolate hair? Um purple oh nice you said she was hot right dad i blushed i never said that but it's true isn't it doing that for you yuri fans i turned my head to look at yuri uh yeah it's true 
See? That's what I thought. Yeah. Of course, Sayori is cute and hot too, you know. <laughs> Just saying that. Look, I... And I really mean that, really, because Sayori, even while cute, she's also hot. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't come down to... It's alright. I interrupted. I'm used to it. Well, yeah, but that's not a thing you should be used to. It's fine. Uh, I have to get going, okay? I frowned. There's a present coming for you in the mail soon. I hope you like it. I love you. Uh, love you too, Dad. I hung up the phone inside. Aw, no reunion or anything like that? I mean, it's fine for, you know, I mean, in other words, how am I going to say this? It's fine that you can go, but at the same time, it's not so bad to have a family reunion. Just, you know, have a face-to-face -face meeting and all that jazz. Or a visit, rather. Another Christmas, another year, Dad has to stay at work. I rubbed the bridge of my nose. Come on, Finn. Let's boost the morale a bit. No need to make Yuri, wor Yuri worry. <laughs> that rhymed. Who was that? Ah, it was my dad calling. Wanted to wish me happy birthday and everything. You mean, uh, you mean Christmas, right? Y yeah. Sorry, brain stopped working. <laughs> Finn.exe has stopped working. Yuri giggled. That's understandable. Uh... There was an odd silence. So, what do we want to do? Well, our lunch plans don't need to be worried about for a few hours. So, what do you want to do in the meantime? She grabbed my hand and led me to the living room. Read the um the new Markov book that she gave you. He walked. Uh, she walked us over the couch and practically threw me down. I raised an eyebrow at the forcefulness. She slowly lied down on top of me and pulled a nearby blanket over us. Uh, what is going on? Can we just do this? I want to be the romantic I know you can be. She smiled nervously. I smiled a little less nervously and rubbed her head. Sure, happy to be here. I grabbed the nearby remote, turned on the television and muted the volume. I turned to Yuri and she seemed to have to be having trouble keeping her eyes open. How much sleep did you get last night? About an hour. Uh I feel my heart inflate and resist the urge to clutch it. To kill <laughs> I wrap my arms around her fully and hold her close. I I never want to let her go. Hmm. A few hours later, I woke up, groggy. Something heavy is on my chest. I blinked away the grogginess in my eyes and focused on said heavy object. A girl with purple hair. Yuri. My stomach dropped. I hoped and prayed to Glob that me calling her heavy was just a fleeting thought and not a mutter. Okay, um, I have no words on that. Uh... I rubbed my forehead and looked over at the clock on the wall. 12.34. We were supposed to go to lunch, right? Yuri said she would think of something. I don't know her plans. I looked back at her sleeping face. But I can't find out by just cuddling with her. I shook her softly. Hey, Yuri. I shook her with a little more force. Yuri... Wake up, babe. I, her eyes slowly fluttered open. Hmm? She smiled. Good morning. Morning. I chuckled. Even if it is technically the afternoon. Semantics. She said and giggled. Maybe. Maybe. Her smile disappeared. Wait, it's the afternoon, yes? Uh, yeah? I raised an eyebrow. Why? What time is it? Lunchtime? Around 12.30. Uh, our reservations are at 
13, or I assume that's 1 o'clock. Oh, crap! I quickly sat up and Yuri climbed off of me. I saw her be slowly begin to panic. How far away is the restaurant? It's about 20 minutes away by foot. How fast is it by bus? Um, I'd rather we not take the bus. We can make it by foot if we hurry. Well, wait a minute. What's wrong with the bus? I noticed that she had tried to quickly change the subject. Um, something wrong about the bus, Yuri? You can tell me about it. Just don't like it, okay? Please don't force me to take the bus. Well, I uh, let's just say that she has bus phobia. I waved my hand. I'm not gonna force you to do anything, Yuri. You don't want to take the bus? We won't take the bus. She sighed in relief. Thank you. Or you could take a ride in my car. If I have one. I nodded and grinned. Of course. So, are we ready to go? Yuri brushed down her sweater. When she, when she finished, she turned her head back towards me. I'm all ready. I think I am too. Uh... Oh crap, I'm still in my- I'm still in my pages. I quickly ran upstairs to change. I hopped off the last step in my new outfit. I ditched my Foo Fighters tee for a plaid shirt, my pajama pants for some blue jeans, and I combed my hair one more time, just to make my mug look uh, that slight bit better. Foo Fighters? Totally a JoJo reference right there. I kept the sweater though. It was a gift, and it's special to me. So it stays. Of course! I walked up to Yuri, who was impatiently standing by the door. He tried not to show, but I could kind of tell. Ready to go? She jumped slightly. Uh, yes. Let's get going. We should have enough time to make it. Cool. I opened up the front door. Ladies first. Such a gentleman. Yuri walked past me and out the door. I followed. <laughs> of course, my manners. As I felt the cold air on my face, I took a deep breath. The air is clean and nice, and the sky is surprisingly clear for a day like this. The clear blue skies. Usually there's some form of overcast, but no. Blob must want the date go well. I locked the door and turned back to Yuri, who stood waiting. Lead the way. She grabbed, she nodded, she nodded and grabbed my hand. Once again, she's leading me somewhere I never been. Hopefully, it's as good as the park. Hopefully, yes. But I feel that'll be a little hard to top. Wait, wait, oh, hold on. I ran back to the house and quickly unlocked the door. I ran upstairs and into my bedroom. I reached into my desk drawer and pulled out a wrapped gift. I can't believe I almost forgot. I quickly rushed back downstairs and out the door. I closed and locked the door. What's that? Ah, it's a present for Sayori. I walked over to her house and Yuri followed. A present for Sayori? Let's fucking go! <laughs> I mean, it's been a while I haven't seen her since a few episodes away, and now we have a present for her? Well, of course, since we're best friends or BFFs in this mod, so I'm happy MC remembered, and of course, you know me, I'm still simping for her, but of course this is going to be Yuri-focused, but still, I'm a Sayori simp no matter what. I knocked on Sayori's door and waited. Come on, you lazy girl. The door opened. Well, oh, hi Finn. Hello, Sayori. Long time no see. <laughs> oh, I missed you so much, you cute little cinnamon bun. She gave me a hug. Merry Christmas. I have your gift right here. And I have yours. Merry Christmas. She handed me a square, thin box, and I handed her mine. You first. I nodded and tore open the wrapping. It was a manga I had been wanting for a while. Oh, cool! Thank you, Sayori! 
I smiled. That was a good gift. It's no problem. All right, now do yours. She turned to the box she held. I wonder what it is. She tore it open quickly. No time wasted, as usual. You pulled out a new bow in a book. Book of Squitterbeat short stories? She gasped. You remembered. I nodded. Of course I did. And as usual, you've included a new bow. She took off her red bow and with a practiced form, she put in her new one. I love it. What?